high. So, I bought some new handbags lately, so I thought I would do a detailed video on all three of my newest babies. If you missed it, I went shopping at Sawgrass Mills Mall for my birthday, and it's like a ginormous outlet center, and I'm an outlet girl when it comes to bags, okay? I love me a good zeal. <laughs> and I pretty much went crazy with feeding my purse addiction, which I have recently discovered. A number of you also share that with me. So if you're new here, I'm actually a makeup channel. Though I do throw in the occasional handbag video because I love those too. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what I picked up. Now, if you saw my birthday vlog that I posted last week, first of all, thank you for telling me happy birthday to those of you that did. I really appreciate it. I couldn't get back to every one of you, but I just wanna say thank you so much. It was a fabulous birthday as you saw in the vlog. But you you did see the purses that I picked up. So if you missed that vlog, you'll see them here. I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more in depth than what I quickly showed you on the vlog. Let's start off with the Tory Burch bag that I got. So like I said, I got this from the Tory Burch outlet and Tory Burch is the only brand that I have in today's video that you can't buy the outlet bags online. Which is why I was so excited to go to Tory Burch Outlet because I didn't get into Tory Burch for a while because I wanted a discounted Tory Burch purse. Now I know the outlet bags aren't as well made as the retail bags. I'm pretty gentle on my bags so that's not as big of a deal to me. And I did recently spend like 500 on a new bag from the retail so I wanted to grow my Tory Burch collection since I love that one so much so I had a great time at the outlet. Make sure you check out the vlog if you want to see more of what they had. This is the bag that I ended up picking up for myself. I'm trying to think, what is the name of this? It says this is the Willa Mini Vanity Bag. So it says the original price is $3.98 and it was 50% off. So in total, it was $199, which I think is really good for a Tory bag. I don't own a vanity style bag. So so I was really excited to see this, that it would be a great addition to my collection. They also had it, I believe, in a blue shade, which I was tempted by. I just know I would wear the neutral shade more. So here is what the quilting looks like. You have the Tory Burch emblem here, and then here is the cute little handle. You can see it's really wide. Since this isn't online, I cannot give you the exact dimensions, <laughs> but then we also have these clips here for the crossbody so you can pull the clips off and then you have a leather strap at the top of the chain this is not adjustable i will say i am 4 11 and this is actually a pretty good length for me so just keep that in mind and then you have the leather zipper then you open it up and then it has the fabric lining. It says Tory Burch here. And then you have two card slots. And it looks really, really tiny, but because of how wide it is, you're able to fit quite a lot. So I have the largest size iPhone and it takes up almost no room in here. It fits width-wise perfectly, but you have so much more room for AirPods, a small wallet, cards. This surprisingly holds a lot more than a lot of my other mini purses. If you don't know, my style is top handles and mini bags. I love them. I'm a small person. That's what I've been into. I've already worn this twice. I love it. Now I want more vanity bags. I think that this is so cute. So I'm going to take you to the try-on portion so you can kind of see what it looks Looks like on me. So here is how the purse would look with me just holding it by the top handle. Remember, I am under five feet. So if you're tall, this would look a lot smaller than it does on me. And then here's the length of the crossbody on me. As you can see, for me, I do really, really like the length that this is at, considering it can't be adjusted. But keep that in mind if you do need a longer strap. I think this is really cute though if it's kept up high. So if you are taller, it's a look. But anyways, I've been loving this bag. The one thing I will say when I wear it, I feel like it goes like this. <laughs> I just, it doesn't lay flat against my body, but it's so cute, I don't even care. I like my socks. <laughs> this is like my home work outfit, but it still feels like PJs. 
So I don't want to talk too much more about this since you can't order it online, but if you do have a Tory Burch outlet near you, definitely check this bag out. I think it is so cute and I do recommend it if you are interested. Next up, let's get into my favorite handbag brand, which is Kate Spade. And I talked about this in a recent video, but I don't know, all of the people that I watch on Purse YouTube do not like Kate Spade. I love Kate Spade. It's literally my favorite, favorite handbag brand. And you know what? Kate Spade Outlet, ugh obsessed with Kate Spade outlet. I always go crazy for their daily deals online. I love getting a good deal on a Kate Spade handbag. I knew I wanted one for my birthday. Let me pull out the receipt. So let's start off with the card holder that I picked up because I wanted a new small wallet for my cards since I've been picking up a lot of really tiny purses lately. So I wanted something that would be nice and slim in my handbags ignore my nails. I have a nail appointment tomorrow. So I love that you have the actual Kate Spade here and it's actually like metal on here. It's not just imprinted onto the leather. And there are three card slots on one side and then you can actually split it and there's a bigger card slot and there's three card slots on the other side as well. I really love the duo tone on this. I think it is so cute and I got neutral colors so that it would go with multiple bags. So I got this, it's called the Stacy Color Block in Safiano Leather and it was only $25, which I thought was a superb deal. So I'm excited to have this little card holder. Yeah, and right now you can even get this online for $25. I think that is such a good deal. Looking at the details online, there's the pin mount logo Logo. It's Safiano leather. The height is three inches. The width is 3.9. Six credit card slots overall, and it's just so, so cute. So, love this. Really excited about this. And then I did get a handbag, of course. I haven't worn this one yet, but this is one that my husband almost bought for me to surprise me with. And then I was like, well, since we're going to the outlets, let me just see it in person first. Uh, but I did end up picking it up. So this is the Stacy Square Crossbody. I got it in pink. I didn't see the pink online. I only saw it in stores, but online they do have a white color and a black color, which are also great. When it comes to Kate Spade, I am not afraid of color just because that is kind of the style of the brand. And I love, love, love the pink. So online right now, this is $109. I actually got it for a little bit cheaper at the outlets. It was 60% off plus an additional 20. So I got it for $95, which is $15 cheaper than what's online. So you'll see it's a petite bag with a top handle. That's my style. Dimensions of this are 5.92 inches in height, 6.48 in width, and then 2.16 inches in depth. The handle drop is 3.25 inches and the strap drop, which is all leather, is 22 inches and it's Safiano leather. You also have the metal pin mount logo. And then at the back, you'll see there's a slit right here. You really can't get much stretch in there, but you see it has the Kate Spade lining. The crossbody straps, are removable, which is something I find important. I love being able to take the cross strap off and change it up with different straps or just hold it by the top handle. I love that versatility that I'm seeing in a lot of bags nowadays. This would be super cute with a pearl chain. Also something that I like to look out for, the strap is adjustable. You still are a little bit limited, but I was able to get it to a pretty good crossbody strap length for my body. So it is the Safiano leather. I really like it. I think it looks super structured, but still very cute. And then it is a button closure, and you'll see we have another slit here, and then we're lined with the typical Kate Spade fabric, and there also is an additional three card slots on the inside of the bag. In terms of what it can fit, again, I'm going to show you my largest iPhone fits this way. And you still have some room if you have your wallet, you can fit it in there, AirPods, and a couple other little things. It's not the most space. It's not a bag that has 
the most adept here, but I don't really carry too much around with me since I live in a city. I just run out all of the time and I just pick whatever bag works for me. I don't really carry too much. I don't have any kids or anything, so I don't mind a small bag. So, all right, so let me show you what she looks like on me. I love how structured yet petite this is. The strap has been adjusted to the smallest setting, so I think it hits me at a really flattering spot. Now, the top panel is a bit long long so it doesn't bother me but i wish this could be taken off i don't know but anyways this is what it looks like in crossbody and then of course you can take the crossbody off and this is still a good size just to hold top handle wise but i think it is so cute it's like super feminine but still very very simple i have not yet worn that kate spade bag yet but i am so excited to. I will link it down in the description box for you. And that brings us to the final bag on my vlog. This is the one that most of you were like, yes. That bag is adorable. This was definitely the crowd favorite, which I'm surprised by because I thought it was like kind of a certain style. But I actually do not own a lot of coach i have a couple bags so i wanted to grow my coach collection since it's from the outlets it's not cute and wrapped up and all of that which is fine uh, so this is the bag the name of it is the Clio top handle in signature chambray and this online is the exact same price that i got at the outlets so this is 60 percent off so i got it for 160 dollars this is on clearance so if you do want to pick it up you should pick it up like before it's gone since it is on clearance that means it's not coming back and even online it says pick it up before it's gone so there is a sense of urgency if you are interested in this one this one is not really my style i wanted something different but it still is quite versatile in what you can wear with it because it's chambray it matches more than you think that it would. Yeah, so I wanted to pick up something that I didn't have anything like in my collection that wasn't my style and would be a little out of my comfort zone and it ended up being one of my favorite items that I picked up. So here's a closer look at the fabric. I don't know that I love these two leather tassels right here. I'm half tempted to cut it off, but then at the same time, I almost just want to keep it how it came. You guys know how I feel about a top handle. And then we also have removable crossbody strap, which you know is important to me, as well as it is adjustable. I've already adjusted it to be as small as it can be. And the thing that I wasn't too sure about is the belt buckle, just because I don't know it's just not my style I think it makes it look a little bit like Western which I don't know that I like but on this I do and then at the bottom there is feet on this which is really nice because that will protect the leather that that we have here on the bottom the material on here is signature chambray and smooth leather the top handle has a one inch and three quarter drop and then the strap which is detachable has a 22 and a quarter inch drop I wish there was a shoulder option for this strap I think this would be cute as a shoulder bag ju not just a cross body bag so let's see length is nine and a quarter inches height is five inches and then width is three and a quarter inches so when you open it it is a button open you see we're lined with suede here and then it even is lined in suede all the way on the inside as well there is a zip pocket which i really like in the center it does kind of limit how much you can fit in here because of the separation but this also will help keep you organized so it just depends on the type of person that you are and then we also have a pocket in here as well is there any card holders no you have like the coach tag on the inside really cute let me show you how everything fits it is a smaller bag especially with the separator in the center you can really only bring a few things my iphone fits perfectly here and then you can also fit small wallet i mean there is room in here it's not like you can't fit anything it's not a micro bag but you might need to leave out a few things if you're the type of person that carries a lot i've worn this once even though i still haven't taken this off on the inside it ended up being more wearable than i thought it would but my vision for this is i have a white shirt dress from abercrombie and this is just gonna look so cute against an all-white outfit so i'm excited about that did i show 
show you it has a slit here in the back. If I didn't, here you go. All right, so let me show you what it looks like on. And everybody's favorite, the coach bag. Isn't this so cute? Now imagine this with like a white shirt dress or some jeans and a white top. I think it's super cute with this. I love it. I think this would be so cute if you have a shoulder strap that matches the leather on this handle. This would be so cute as a shoulder bag. Okay, let me struggle to put this on crossbody. And then here is what it looks like on the shortest setting in crossbody. Again, it's really, really cute. I actually love holding this bag top handle. I think it makes everything look that much more dressed up. And this is how it hits me. Okay, I can see why this is everybody's favorite. Unexpected, but so cute. All right, guys, that is all I have for today's video. Those are my three newest babies to my collection. Now that I've done my birthday shopping spree, which I knew was gonna happen, I think my next purse video is going to be my handbag collection, so keep your eyes out for that. If you're enjoying the handbag videos, let me know. If you're not enjoying them, it's fine. I post a lot of other makeup videos every other day, so don't worry. I'm not becoming a purse channel. And all of the bags that I talked about today will be linked down below, and thank you guys so so much for watching this video and hanging out with me and indulging me and in my addiction <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.